Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see what is SCR and how it works. SCR is Silicon Control Rectifier. It is very important device in the power electronics. So SCR offers precise control over the rectification process. We can adjust the firing angle and we can control the output voltage and the current and that is why it is called controlled rectifier so this is the symbol for SCR it has got three terminals first is anode then this is cathode and this is gate positive voltage is applied to the anode negative voltage is applied to the cathode gate helps to bring the SCR into the conduction state if we apply any gate pulse over here then SCR will come into the conduction. So this is the internal structure of SCR. It consists of the four layers. This is first layer P, second is N, third is P, fourth is N. And there are three junctions J1, J2 and J3. Until and unless all the junctions are on or uh, forward biased, the SCR won't come into the conduction. So this is the characteristic curve for the SCR. We can see in the first quadrant when the positive voltage is applied to the anode and the negative voltage is applied to the cathode when no gate pulse is applied then if you try to increase the voltage then SCR will remain in the off state, small leakage current will flow through it. When the voltage reaches the breakover voltage, then the avalanche breakdown happens and the all the junctions are forward bias and the SCR comes into the conduction. And here the voltage decreases and the current starts rising. Latching current is the current which is required to keep the SCR into the conduction and uh, holding current is the current which is minimum current which is re required to turn the SCR off. So in the fourth quadrant this is regarding the reverse blocking region. Here the negative voltage is applied to the anode and the positive voltage is applied to the cathode and the when we increase the voltage the SCR remains in the block state or off state. Small leakage current flows. When the voltage reaches the breakdown voltage then high current flows through it. SCR operates in the three modes. First is the forward blocking mode, which is off state. Then the forward conduction mode, which is the on state. And the third one is reverse blocking mode, that is the off state. We will see what is happening in the forward blocking mode. In the forward blocking mode, positive voltage is applied to the anode and negative voltage is applied to the cathode. We can see that this junction J1 is on or forward bias, junction J2 is off which is reverse bias and junction J3 is on and no gate pulse is applied over here. So SCR can be turned off by two ways, first by increasing the voltage across the anode and the cathode. When the voltage across anode and cathode is increased to the level of the breakdown voltage then the all three junctions are forward biased and the SCR starts conducting. So in this uh, case the positive voltage is applied to the anode and negative voltage is applied to the cathode and this time we are applying the gate pulse over here to the P to the P layer once the gate pulse is applied the junction J2 will become on and the SCR will come into the conduction state and this is the forward conduction mode now we will try to simulate this condition so here the 5 volt is applied to the SCR this is the 100 ohm resistance connected over here and lamp is connected as a load and this is the circuit for applying the gate pulse and the gate pulse is applied through this switch 
so now let us try to simulate it we will run this circuit now you can see we have not applied any gate pass so the SCR is in the off state and no current is flowing through it and the lamp is off now let us turn the switch on to apply the gate pulse now we can see that current has started flowing through the SCR and RCR has come into the forward conduction mode and current is flowing through the lamp as well in this case even if I turn the switch off the SCR will remain in the conduction state So in order to turn off the SCR we need to reduce the current going through it. This is the condition when the DC is applied to the SCR. Let us see the case when the AC is applied to the SCR. This is the case where we are applying the AC voltage to the SCR and at the same time the gate pulse is also provided to the SCR gate terminal. Let us try to simulate it. Now we will run the circuit. Now we can see during the positive half cycle the SCR is conducting and during the negative half cycle the SCR is off. You can see this waveforms over here. So during the negative cycle the SCR is turned off because reverse voltage is applied across it and the junctions will become reverse bias. By controlling the gate pulse firing angle, we can control the output power. So now come to the reverse blocking mode. In this case, negative voltage is applied to the anode and the positive voltage is applied to the cathode. Junction J1 is off, junction J3 is off, junction J2 is on. So as we have seen in the case of the characteristic curve for the SCR, when we increase the voltage across the SCR to the such level that it uh, becomes greater than the breakdown voltage then the SAR will come into the conduction state. This is how we can operate the SCR. This is how we can operate the SCR. Why to use the SCR? It has got the high power handling capacity and then next point is that it is controllable means we can control the firing angle so that we can have the control over the output power delivered to the load efficiency for SCR is good SCR has got low conduction lo losses so it can give us the high efficiency in rectifier circuits as SCRs are robust and durable in construction so those are reliable and it is compatible with the AC powers SCRs can be used in many applications such as power control in voltage regulation, phase control, it can be used in the inverters, we can use it in HVAC systems, then we can use it in the battery chargers, buildings and equipment of starters etc. So that's it for today. In this video we have seen what is the CR and how it works and what are its applications. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video then please hit like button. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.